Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical report events and in the previous video we started with the interactive classical report event that is add user command and based upon our requirement we started developing the program we took the input for order number we created the structure type internal table and one area so firstly we will simply simply display that data from order header table on basic list then we will proceed further so now we will fetch data from order header table select what is first column we need to fetch order number order date, payment mode, currency. We are fetching from which table? Order header table. I will open the table in a new session. This is our order header table. We will store into internal table. So I will mention into table what is the name of internal table lt underscore data where o n o in s underscore o n o we all know very very well now whenever we have a select option we need to use in and input is always on the right hand side so now our data will be in this internal table we will simply apply a loop on the internal table and display. Loop at internal table into work area. We all know for every loop there is an end loop. And we will write the write statement. Work area, order number, work area, order date. Work area payment mode, work area currency. I'll check the syntax. Now, yes, we all know the events now. So whenever some events we can use, yes, we should always make a practice to use the events. Whenever we will click on to execute button, we all know start of selection event will call. So always make a practice now. That is best practices now. So your selection logic is the part of which event start of selection. Because now we know the event, so we should use the events, whichever is applicable. Suppose I'm giving the input. Whenever I will click on to this execute button, which event will call start of selection. And we have the output now. This is basic list. This output is on basic list because whatever the list is coming first is called as basic list. So as of now, this is simply, simply a classical report. We have not done any interaction. So it is not an interactive classical report as of now. Now, what we will do? Now we will go for proceeding of this requirement. We will create two buttons here. We will create our own functions here. We will create our own functionality. And what will be those two functionality? One will be ascending button. One will be descending button. Now, before we proceed further, we will just go for the previous learnings. In the overview of SAP, ERP, and APAP playlist, I, we covered one topic, what are the various parts of GUI? What are the various parts of GUI? Suppose I will go to any, any screen of SAP. You can go to any transaction code SC11, SC38, SC24, any transaction code. What are the various parts of 
GUI or what are the various parts of GUI navigation. This is called as which area. If you remember, these buttons are called as menu bar. Menu bar. This, this is called as standard toolbar or it is called as function keys. Function keys. These are function keys. This is your title bar. Title bar. And this is your application toolbar. Yes, this part is already covered. We already have a separate video for the same. What are the various parts of GUI navigation? This is your menu bar. This is your standard toolbar or function keys. This is our title bar. This is our application. This is our this is our application toolbar. Just see here. This is your menu bar. This is your function keys. This is your title bar. And this is which area? This is your application toolbar. So we want our functions or we want our own functionalities where we will develop in this application toolbar. In this application toolbar. Now this topic is not limited here. In the future, so many times in the ALB topic, in the module pool topic, always, always you will get a chance to create your own functions, to create your own functionalities. So now we need to create our own functions into which part of GUI application toolbar. Now, how we will create to see the theory. Whenever we will create our functions, yes, we will create our functions using PF status. PF status. Now, what is the full form of PF? PF stands for personal functions. So you can create your own functions. You can create your own personal functions using which particular thing? PF state. So if someone asks you how you are creating your own functions, yes. So answer is using PF status, using PF status. So how we will create? We have a dedicated syntax for the same and it's not a one-time learning. It is always, always be applicable in the future topics also. Now, now we need to create our own functions, own functions. So what is the syntax for the same? How to create our own functions? So we have the syntax set PF status, set PF status. You can give some name to the PF status. Suppose I'm saying name of the PF status is function. You can give any name it is your wish, totally your wish, but remember it should be in capital. We all know SAP editor is not case sensitive, but strings are always, always case sensitive. So please give in capital. So I gave the name of the PF status as function, function. And why we are going for this? Because we want to create our own functions. So how we can create your, our own functions using the syntax set PF status name of the PF status. Now double click. Yes, it is clearly, clearly asking, do you want to create GUI status? Yes, we want to create our own GUI status. Yes, previously this is SAP GUI status, suppose simple. If I will comment this part, if I will go for this, see, this is SCP GUI status. This is menu bar, function keys, title bar, application toolbar. These all are the functionalities of SAP. These all are the functionalities of SAP. Now we want to go for our own functionality. 
so we are creating our own pf status we are creating our own gui status so now i will go for double click it is asking do you want to create this gui status yes i want to create yes now i will give some short description to the pf status suppose i am saying pf states for order details it's a one time learning every time you will create your own functions in same to same way enter once i will press enter now it will make more sense we have menu bar application toolbar we have function keys and we want to create our own functions into which particular area application toolbar application toolbar i will expand now we will create two buttons we will create two functions as a part of application toolbar what will be one function ascending function what will be one function descending function 